Covid's brought gallery guests to a start, stop and standstill. The Arnold Feenies brought some of its exhibits outside. Contemporary art showing there's a way and a will. Wearing double jackets on a Christmas Day ride, packed with a flask and a couple of deep mince pies, and the sun reflecting on the calm waters this Yule tide. Cycling to the end of Bristol's wick, up Barrow Hill's rise, I stop by a farmer's fence to peer at three ancient stones. They've withstood thousands of these wintry skies. I rode to a cemetery to look at the gravestones and found a druid holding a scythe beneath an oak tree, marking the last resting place of a Henry Hodge's bones. To correct the blurred vision of 2020, and the slight hangover from last night's Hogmanay. I went for a short pedal on this 1st of January. St George Park was where I rode this Sunday to sit beside some trees within view of the lake. Green relief in the city a short ride away. In warmly, the clock tower's hands have stopped it's on a break. Turning back 200 years, it ticked as work is made pins. Now, a goddess temple meets there to give folks time, not take. My outside bike's staying in as visibility thins. Fog, ice and the latest lockdown has kept me home. So here's my inside bikes in the garden for safe wheel spins. For local ideas of where me and my bike can roam, there's a map on a board by a church for me to study. While lockdown goes on, many adventures from this I'll comb. Two and a half centuries back in Bristol's history, before helicopters, airplanes and even bikes, hydrogen, then helium balloons landed in this city. In Warmley, this old rally shop sign I give lots of likes. A cycle shop opened here way back in 1902. In 2013, they moved down the road and still sell bikes. King Dix Lane has a sign saying cyclists can't ride through. I think it's guilty of blowing its own trumpet. It's much nicer riding down the adjacent avenue. My friend sent a headband to upcycle my bike helmet. My ears stay toasty found under this felt rainbow while winter delivers temperatures which plummet. A fish doesn't need a bicycle is true as sayings go, but on the Sustrans bike path in eastern Bristol, the fish pond's fish swims with the cyclist's flow. One thousand signs show how transport can be sustainable. This one in Neatham Park is called the Fossil Tree. National Cycle Network markers to spot when I pedal. Yellow diversion signs are a pain, usually, but this one's showing the route to avoid Covid. I'll cycle to join the vaccine queue when it's turn for me. Pedalling homewards, tonight's sunset was vivid. Banks of low clouds streaked in orange, purple and pink. Like being under huge petals, the sky was all florid. As lockdown means we can't go out to eat or drink, 
I cycle to Shanghai to get a takeaway with my social bubble bud, no washing up for the sink. I cycled to the Golden Valley Nature Reserve today. The river buoyed flowed, shades of blue steel and silver, and the mud was a rich russet. There's ochre in the clay. Selkirk Grace is a poem said with a Burns Night Supper, which celebrates Robert's birth, that lang old Scottish poet. My bike found snow on Selkirk Road on his day this winter. <laughs>